Catholic Daily Mass Readings, October 27, 2022, Thursday of the 30th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, through your strength from the Lord and from his mighty power, put on the armor of God so that you may be able to stand firm against the tactics of the devil. For our struggle is not with flesh and blood, but with the principalities, with the powers, with the world rulers of this present darkness, with the evil spirits in the heavens. Therefore, put on the armor of God that you may be able to resist in the evil day and having done everything to hold your ground. So stand fast with your loins girded in truth, clothed with righteousness as a breastplate, and you feet shod in readiness for the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, hold faith as a shield to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. With all prayer and supplication, pray at every opportunity in the Spirit. To that end, be watchful with all perseverance and supplication for all the holy ones and also for me, that speech may be given me to open my mouth, to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains so that I may have the courage to speak as I must. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be, Blessed be the Lord my rock. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed be the Lord my rock. My mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed be the Lord my rock. O God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten strange lyre, I will chant your praise. You who give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed be the Lord my rock. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Some Pharisees came to Jesus and said, Go away, leave this area because Herod wants to kill you. He replied, Go and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out demons, and I perform healings, today and tomorrow. And on the third day, I accomplish my purpose. Yet, I must continue on my way today, tomorrow, and the following day, for it is impossible that a prophet should die outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem! You who killed the prophets and stoned those sent to you, how many times I yearned to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you were unwilling. Behold, your house will be abundant, but I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.